Abraham and his wife Sarai lived in Canaan. Abraham was a good man. He obeyed God and was kind to his fellow beings. One day, God appeared to Abraham when he was praying. Abraham, Abraham. What? Who is that? God, is that you? Yes, it is me. I have something to tell you. Tell me, Lord, what can I do for you? I want you to leave this land, leave the house of your father, and go to a place far from here. But why, God? Where am I going? I will guide you to a place where you will find fortune and riches. You will be known as a great man, and people will remember you for a long time. I will bless the people who bless you and curse the people who curse you. Very well, my lord. As you wish. I have complete faith in you. Abraham started his journey to the promised land with his wife and his nephew, Lot. They also took with them all their belongings which included their cattle and horses. He also carried bags of gold and silver which he had collected over his life. It was a long and difficult journey. They had to cross deserts and barren land with very little food or water. After many, many days, Abraham and his family finally reached the promised land in Canaan. Abraham, this is where you will live with your family. Thank you, my lord. Thank you for guiding us to this beautiful land. Abraham's wife, Sarai, was a beautiful young woman who was very kind and good-hearted. She loved Abraham very much. Abraham also loved his wife and they were happy together. Sarai understood that Abraham was close to God and followed whatever he said. She trusted God just like Abraham and prayed with him. Lot also loved his uncle and listened to whatever he was told. After many years, a severe famine struck Canaan. Soon, there was very little water for Abraham's family. Animals were starving and the river was dried up. Uncle, this drought has no sign of ending. We are running short of food. Even the river has completely dried up. The animals are starving, and they will not last much longer than a few days. What shall we do? Do not worry, Lot. We have placed our trust in God. He will not abandon us. Have faith. Well, we can't stay on here any longer. We must at least go on search for food and clean water further towards Egypt. She's right, uncle. We cannot just go on waiting for something to happen. We must do something. Hmm. <sighs> Let me see. I am going to pray now. God will give me an answer. That night, Abraham got an answer from God. The next day morning, Abraham woke up and went to give Sarai the news. God has answered me, Sarai. We will take the animals and travel towards Egypt. We will get food grains from there. Very well. I will tell Law to get ready for the journey. And so, and yet again, Abraham and his family set out on a journey in search of a better life. They walked miles and miles to the desert with whatever animals were left. But they continued their journey and finally, they reached the border of Egypt. Abraham was worried for his wife. She was a very beautiful young woman and he was a very old man. He was not sure how the Egyptians would treat them. 
We are almost there, Sarai. Before we enter Egypt, we need to have a plan. I am worried about you. I fear the Egyptians will take you away from me. I cannot let that happen. We will tell the gods that you are my sister. That way, they will not harm any of us. And we will have a better chance of getting what we came for and leaving safely. Very well, Abraham. So be it. I will say you are my brother. <laughs> 